In technical terms, this part of Montana is called semi-arid, which means water is here but hard to come by. In the mid-80s, prior to mining, the company surveyed the landscape and water and found an abundance of animals including turkey, game birds, pronghorn elk, and mule deer, even sharp-tailed grouse. There was little in the way of open water, just an acre and a half, and the shoreline of what is called Lee Coulee less than a mile long. But water is life, and the project manager recognized that. And we thought it would be an opportunity to capture some of this for a permanent, sustainable supply for livestock and wildlife in the future. If we could capture it in, into an impoundment or a basin or however, whatever word you want, a reservoir. A local rancher and conservation officer appreciated the idea. Water is so critical to livestock, any livestock operation. Here was an opportunity to have not only um, replace what had been there previously, but also maybe in a way that would uh, actually benefit us more because it wouldn't be uh, isolated potholes. It was a substantial water body that would be, would be dependable and sustainable. The company found several small pools of water, both above and below ground, and determined it could create something new. Instead of removing existing wells during mining, it left them in place. At the same time, it reshaped Lee Coulee, constructing impoundments to channel water into a larger collection. Yeah, we tried to blend it, I mean, to make it so it fit the area, slope to sides. We planted uh, wetland type forbs and wetland species. Today, the area has an abundance of water for both livestock and wildlife. It's a great relief for us because we don't have to be checking it on a daily basis. Um, there aren't any concerns about uh, livestock failing to have a drink on any given day. Reg Hoff recognized his role in this success story. I mean, we're all just here for our short little time to manage the land. We're stewards of the land or whatever, and somebody else takes over. Plus, you have all the wildlife. It's there forever. I mean, it's priceless, really. I mean, you just can't put a price on something like that. And so I guess from my perspective, it's, it's wonderful.